This is beyond the wildest dream. He's gonna get the cut. We're gonna transform the Lamborghini Huracan into an absolute drift weapon. My heart has never raced that fast in my life. When I look at a car, it has personality. And so the way I try to build every one of my cars is to try and express my personality through just the way it looks or sounds. Building cars, I'm pretty OCD <laughs> on the fact that I'm just a bit of a perfectionist. So we have not stopped working on this car for the last couple of weeks. Just all the hidden stuff that people will not see. Man, we've put in some really serious hours with suspension, fitting, getting our ride heights, and building our knuckles to give us extra steering lock. Fabricated brackets to mount a separate caliper on the back. It's been a lot of work, it's been full on. Timing is super tight. You know, New Zealand's biggest paper is the New Zealand Herald and there was an article saying that we're trying to build a car for next year's Goodwood Festival of Speed, which is like 14 months away, but what they don't realise is we're actually building it for Goodwood this year, which means we have to have it in a container for Europe in only 11 days. It's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of hours, it's a lot of time away from the family. It's just a cycle, it just, just keeps going and going. We look at, say, the Mad Bull. Though it's the same car, it's had seven full rebuilds from ground up. You know, that's the cool thing with cars, is you can change their personality. There's always something that you can improve, you know? Especially with drifting, like drifting now, is just crazy how fast, like, our pro cars are. And as a driver, it's actually scary. You know, you look at Project Rad Bull was a 1200 horsepower Mazda MX-5. It was the most crazy, violent, wild. Uh, words can't even explain that car. But same again, like pressure, build the car, take it to the track, and within two laps. I'd put the car into the wall at near 200 kilometers an hour, knock myself out, crushed liver, urinating blood, car was absolutely smashed. You know, obviously the the pressure, the time frames, everything we deal with is dangerous. There it goes. Military grey. It's a big risk going from like pretty much lipstick red to Matte machinery grade. If you look at every concept I've done, they're all different, the camo is different. There's no real set layout to do it, it's just kind of do it by eye and whatever works, and just kind of freestyle it on. I have no idea what the freaking time is, eh? If you're looking at your watch, then you're bored, mate. Reveal, second colour. We want it to be quite subtle, with um, the shades of grey being quite similar. And looking at that, it's looking really, really cool. Oh, it looks so good. Nice work. Yeah. For drifting, the hydraulic handbrake is key to lock the rear wheels to control it. This hub here, it actually carried a second caliper for the handbrake, which was an electric handbrake. So what we're doing now is um, had to take an angle grinder to it. We've cut the excess of the factory electric handbrake brackets off and now looking at adapting and making up our own brackets. So we've machined up some parts. Those few components that we've made up, we need to make as one unit and pretty much just get all the caliper aligned and give Mikey a handbrake. The wheels are here, but they're stuck in customs. Without the wheels, we can't test, so the fact that it's Lord March's driveway makes it a little stressful. We've got 
a total of, if we're lucky, 56 hours of work time left before this car actually has to be driven. We've already had the guys from the shipping place here. That sort of stuff's quite scary to happen when the car's in this state. Yeah, it's gonna be tight. Wheels are in the country. Oh, yes. Nitrous is in the country, but it's all stuck in customs, so um, I guess the main thing is they're in the country, but yeah, you know, customs don't really give a shit. The hard thing is, is that it's where freaking got to get up Goodwood Festival of Speed driveway, where yeah. if it was a racetrack, it would be no stress. I mean, we're, we've got brakes, brackets coming together. Definitely get it assembled, but whether we've got the time, you know, you need the seat time as well. You need to make sure that you're comfortable and just making sure the car's going to hold together, because we know it's going to get a good workout. Just keep on pushing and yep. get it done. All right. The boys have been working on the car all night, and I've just heard from Mike that the wheels have been released from customs. Well, there's been moments where we've thought, you know, is it even going to be possible? It's definitely putting the guys under the pump to get it done. The first initial track test with a new car is both exciting and nerve-wracking. We were testing the MX-5, and um, I get this phone call you know, in the way that they say your name, you know that something's happened. Mike had um, a huge crash, such a scary moment, and anything can go wrong. You know, no matter how great the driver is, no matter how good the car is, you have all these other conditions that can affect it too. He will be doing whatever it takes to ensure that when he does get there and hits that hill, that everything goes as best as it can. It's so easy to get lost in the build, especially when you don't sleep much. But to actually see it come to life for the first time, you start the engine, you drive it out of the shop under its own power, is such an incredible feeling. All right, so just take it easy. We're going to do a couple scrubs, fill it all out, make sure we've got clean steering lock. Interesting, all our mods. Get the no sleep very quickly. Okay, now we're starting to feel it. Definitely got a lot more control. No ABS is trying to override what I'm doing. Man, it feels really tight. Something's binding up. Something on the left side. It's oh, fuck it, bro, there's fire. Fire! 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 Open the tap! The brakes! Brakes are on fire! The tap on the brakes. I can't put my hand in there. Yeah. Go, move, move, move. It was, I had to spray it. They look like they fucked. Just don't circulate slowly. Woo! Shakedown on fire. As he's continuously using the brake, and this little valve is actually locking the brake on like a handbrake. And what has happened is it's locked it off and the torque and the power of the engine is actually just kept driving that wheel with the brake actually fully on. The brake rotor's just glowing, gone red hot, and obviously there's other components close by, and with that much heat, everything's lit up. Because they got one wheel only, yeah. Wow. And it held it on, and then you've just so, gone and... Because it was only this one wheel that it wow. held it on. Oh, my heart has never raced that freaking fast <laughs> in my life. It felt like it was, the brakes were jamming on or it was losing power. That's the freaking freakiest, freakiest feeling. Time's not with us, but we might have been able to load this in a container and get some sleep. But um, not the case, not yet. Not until those doors close. If you just built these cars and they just work perfectly straight out the box, like everybody would be doing it. 
think we've just got a bit of discoloration, um, so it should clean up fine. What a freaking crazy morning. We're very fortunate that the components on these cars are designed to withstand some pretty extreme heat and without any crazy repairs, I think we'll be able to have this thing back out on track. The guys we deal with for our shipping, they are going to bring the container here for us tonight, which is going to give us a few more hours. It's really important the seat time so I can get one with the vehicle. I want to be able to drift this thing at Goodwood Festival of Speed. Oh, bro, this feels so good. It's funny how quick it all becomes worth it. Bro, the sound is so sick. There is not one assist on this car now trying to override what I'm trying to do. No ABS, no traction control. Yeah, bro, I'm in control, 100%. Yeah, boy. So good. Fuck yeah. Fuck, oh, that, that is me. So good, bro. You can just even see like oh. here, you just tap it in, it just rotates so Fuck, it feels so good. So and good. even on a big long slide, yeah. like it feels so good. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah. Holy shit, that feels freaking incredible. Man, this thing is scary fast. Yeah, for five laps deep in the car, it feels really freaking good. I cannot believe we made it. So now this car goes two months at sea, all the way from New Zealand to UK. It's still scary to think freaking how much track time I've actually had in the car. It's a really important part, but yeah, I'm still a rookie when it comes to driving this car. Goodwood Festival of Speed is gonna be gnarly, like the speeds and how tight it is, but I think that what overrides all of the nerves is the excitement levels for, for me to be able to pull the covers off and see Stefano, the CEO of Lamborghini, his reactions when he sees what we've done to the Lamborghini Hurricane.